Dear ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being today here our guest uh, during a time slot uh, of presenting you our Xaleto housing system. Uh, my name is Daniel Holling and I'm working for the Big Dutchman company in the engineering team and I have today the pleasure to introduce you uh, a straw housing system for indoor applications for the growing period from nursery and finishing pigs in a time period from 6 to 120 kilograms. First of all, I think most of you are farmers or have a relation to the agricultural farming background and you have an interest into your housing system and different thoughts. At the end of the day, my personal opinion or our personal opinion is that our farmers have different ideas how they keep their animals. They would like to be, of course, sustainable. They would like to have a good environmental friendly system, even to have inside the community um, a good reputation uh, into direction how they keep their animals and their pigs. Uh, of course, this is going along with a topic called animal friendly housing. Um, Beside this, of course, we have to look into the value between our fingers. So we would like to be resource saving and not giving too much input factors into our systems. Um, of course, efficiency and profit income are the last two points where everybody of you is thinking about if you look into the direction of a housing system. And all of these characteristics I'm showing you here are collected together into the straw housing system called Xaleto in this moment. So right now you can ask yourself, why is that so something special? If we look into the housing system and we have a first view into the compartment where the animals are kept, in this case, nursery animals, hmm, we could say, what is the special thing over here? So the core message is, and that's what I would like to inform you more about detail, is the straw bed itself. That's the key for the success of this housing system and that's making some other systems slightly different. So why is this straw bedding something special and why is it the key what I told you before? The straw bed is working for us more or less 24 hours a day, seven days a week and have following characteristics which are very important for the success of this system. So at first of all we have the system without any slatted area so the, the, the straw area itself feels like a forest floor where the animal could walk around and um, have for their feet and their joints a very good comfortable flooring. And also in the same moment, we have a natural environment where the animals could dig around, look for things and um, work with the material of the bed itself. It's smart playing material, continuously available uh, and always very, very attractive because it's always different feeling and different um, um, yeah, influences you could get out of the straw bed. And the last important point is this straw bed takes care that 100% of the liquids going into the straw bed over water or urine is evaporated away. So at the end of the day, out of this housing system, we have no liquid contents coming out of the system, just solid products in, 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 into direction of dung. So of course you could ask yourself, hey, straw systems are in the UK quite common and we have hundreds of barns equipped with this system, but what is also different and what's necessary for us to have a proper straw bedding? Totally, we have three major keys coming together that everything is working quite smooth together and going along as we expect. The first thing is, and that's very something very important, that we have the correct ventilation concept going along with this housing system. So the second point, uh, so we have more or less wall inlets on the outside walls where we have valves transporting the air into the compartment. We have a chimney ventilation system of taking the air out of the compartment. And uh, of course, we have an intelligent climate computer, which is able to ventilate according, the according to the settings of humidity, because the humidity level of our straw bed, of the air coming into the compartment and of the air going out of the compartment is a very, very important factor. And then we are possible, or then we are able to keep with this housing system a very, very low density of ammonia in the air in the compartment. Together with the ventilation, an important thing is also the feeding strategy. 
Um, in this housing system, we do not need very much of these feed fat additives in, in or cheap feed additives inside the feed uh, ration. Uh, we more or less need a little bit more a quality ration with more natural ingredients uh, to have a proper dung of the animals going into the straw bag. So that's no rocket science. And right now, don't get me wrong, that's something everybody could scale on its own. So that, of course, we also had to take a look into the feeding strategy, which is very important for this housing system that is running successfully. So at the last point we have is a bioactivator, which need to be transported um, into the straw bed before the animals coming into this compartment. Um, the ingredients of this bioactivator is a, a stone meal, and this stone meal is taking care that the bacteria which start the process of the evaporation of the fluids um, are starting very, very early. And that's why the bioactivator is like a little catalysm system for getting our system very, very fast running, uh, that the water is going out of the compartment. Right now, you still could ask yourself and say, hey, why is it still so different from everything I know today? Um, because this system is the only housing system which is able to keep a straw system inside closed house. And it is not a deep bed straw system where you need 80 centimeters of straw to keep your system alive and your animals dry. We only need a slightly amount of straw in our complete system during the complete growing period. And this is the resource input, of course, and that's very, very low. And just have a look into the fact I show you at the second line of this topic. For 10 kilogram of feed, you only need one kilogram of straw. So in relation, this is more or less nothing. If you're looking to a deep pit straw system, uh, the ration is 10 kilograms of feed, in average, four kilograms of straw. So this is just more or less a fourth of the normal amount of straw you need for one growing animal. Of course, this is right now maybe a German, German example I'm going to be giving to you. And of course, your experience is maybe a little bit different in the UK, UK, but I'm quite sure that you agree that this relation one to 10 is really very, very low and we get this system running. And the smart thing is that the costs we have with this system uh, into direction of investment cost and also running production costs are very, very competitive with traditional housing system on slatted floors. And the last point is, if somebody of you is scared to transport these amount of straw into your barn, we have an automatic system available. It's called Oligas. This is a straw robot with an intelligence inside, is detecting automatically the spots inside a pen where new straw is needed. And that system is, tra is transporting straw automatically into the, into the barn to the animals without any manual work from your side. Okay, what's the process flow of this system? Just as a slight information, of course, our input factors on the left side in green are a straw, bioactivator, feed, and water in different relations into our system. Who's working in our system? First of all, of course, our animals by working on the straw bed and also transporting um, a, yeah, temperature, volume, and all that stuff into the straw bed, and also dung, of course, and with an intelligent uh, link to our climate system and to our straw roboting system. Um, we have the working factors and the working parameters in our system to make it successful. And the only outgoing factor of this system is the water over the humidity out of the air. And at the end of a growing period, we have decomposted substrate. And that's it. Just to have a look to see how in interesting it might could be an example from our growing for piglets. So piglets are normally grown in the nursery from six kilograms after 21 days of suckling time up to 30 kilograms. And normally during their growing time, the animals take in, in the second line, uh, about 80 liters of water and about seven, uh, 37 kilograms of feed. In the example of Saletto on the right-hand side, we additionally need four kilograms of straw to make the system successful. And if you look to a slatted flooring system, we have about 103 kilograms or 0.1 cubic meters of manure per animal for per production batch 
coming out of the system. And in comparison to that, Saleto is only producing 25 kilograms of dung coming out of the system. So as you see once again, the fourth out of it. And that's the key why it's getting so interesting. You have no fluids you have to transport away. You just have the solid dung, which is very interesting as a fertilizer or also interesting for other uh, additional processes I show you later. Just a short word to the emission situation. Um, emissions are calculated in the European Union everywhere different. So we know from our German measurements we have and our official data from um, institutes which did the observation that we just produce about 20% less NH3 ammonia in comparison to other indoor straw systems um, in a warm temperature barn. So that's also very important. So you do not destroy your um, farming situation on your spot with a bad pollution um, out of ammonia by using this Xaleto system. So if we have a look into the compartment, it's also no rocket science. We have in this case here a middle aisle directly connected to the middle aisle. We have um, called always a spot called the feed table where the drinkers and also uh, the feeders are installed. And then we have a step of 25 centimeters in the nursery or of two times 25 centimeters for the finisher um, to go down into the straw bed. And here in our case, on the right hand side, we have the straw bed where the animals are kept during the complete time. And our calculation always is about 80% of the space of the complete pen needs to be straw bed and 20% is infrastructure area on our feeding tableau where the drinkers and the feeders are installed. And nothing else is different. It's a normal house. We have ball inlets for ventilation. We have no outside air access. It's a closed ventilated system. So slightly have a look into the investment cost. If we compare a traditional 2000 head finisher farm like this one with different compartments and pens of about 15 animals per pen in relation to a little bit smaller and a little bit longer um, straw housing system based on the Xaleto principle with the middle aisle and feeders and the straw area outside. So if we compare the complete system, we are saving with Saleto investment cost into the direction of the building because we do not have to dig so much earth away into the ground to install below a manual pit or something like this. Of course, we need also for Xaleto some additional infrastructure, like we need to have a straw building where the straw is kept, especially in times of African swine fever, you need to capture your straw before you transport it into um, the farm. Also, you need to have a telescopic loader to make your farm work possible. Or if you would like to have your straw robot, you also have additional cost. So, but in general, the relation, as I mentioned before, the investment cost is quite smooth in relation to a traditional finishing place on a slatted form floor base, as you saw before on the picture. So we are on the same range of investment cost without any VAT of about 550 euros in average. So we are a little bit lower with the investment of Xaleto. And also, if we have a look onto the running cost of this system, the running cost from the direct free costs at the bottom line are quite competitive. We compared in this example, once again, our slurry system, which you know on slatted floors, we have our Xaleto system and we have the deep bed straw system with about 80 centimeters um, straw beds which are needed to keep the animals dry. And so this analyze did a German research institute of economy for agricultural farming. And this is also official data based on the price level of start of 2020. Um, if we look to the results and the performances we have in a typical finishing barn, of course, as you see at the top of the line, the daily gain is maybe a little bit less on a straw bed system because the pigs do have alternatives with straw where they can bite around, play around, and at least intake this straw. But on the other moment, the feed relation or the feed conversion rate on these um, systems are slightly better because with a straw in the stomach, the stomach is more full, and so the feed intake is more efficient and you, we do not waste so much feed for the conversion process. And at the end of the day, <clears throat> we are quite competitive with also the running cost in our production. And today we have about 100,000 places 
with already pre-signed contracts where farmers contacted us and said, come on, let's step into a planning period and please Big Dutchman help us in this case to make it possible that um, we can um, start the production at our spot with a housing system like this. And today in production are 3,000 finisher places on this principle and 18,000 piglet places on this principle. What could be done at the end of the day with the outcoming product, the dung out of the system? So this could be a composting process, which is added after the growing period of the animals. Of course, if you have the dung coming out of the, of the, of the building, you need to add once again, fresh new organic material. In our case, wood chips. So we build up here a little mountain where the composting process takes time over six months without any work from somebody else. Of course, you can increase the turnover time very, very much if you use little fans or if you turn the mountain around and stuff like this. But in general, after six months, the composting product looks like this. And this could be one possibility if you use it afterwards as a stable fertilizer for your arable farming. So also it is soar able, means wash or water by rain could not wash the components inside the, um, the compost away. So it's stable for storing. Um, so you could use it at the best moment for your arable farming, for your crop farming production and all that stuff. And also it's a quite interesting input factor, the dung, if you give it pure to a biogas plant. So the gas outtake is 394 liters of methane out of one kilogram of dung going into a biogas plant. And if you set this one into relation, it's quite attractive. It's nearly as effective as for example, turkey dung. And it's definitely more effective if you compare it to poultry dung. Yeah, maybe at the end of this small session, some important things uh, you'd like to know um, when you say, what the hell is that one? Maybe one important information, you could ask yourself where the hell is coming the name Xaletto from? I can tell you, it's a message we'd like to transport with this name. In the Italian language, Aletto means come into the bed. And that's what we expect from our animals, that they should come to the straw bed. And to make it more or less a little bit special, we added an X in front of the name and said X-ray or X-man is something mystic, or we just could say we have two cross straws in this moment, and that's why we create uh, a product name called like Saletto. But from the remembering aspect, I think it should be understandable. And also one important information, the principle of this housing system fulfill already a lot of requirements of international label products for a sustainable production. And we are also quite sure um, that a lot of requirements uh, which are needed in the UK for the RSPCIA label could be fulfilled for some standards with this housing systems. So that's it at the end of the day. I hope I could give you a short introduction into an alternative approach, how animals could be kept indoor into a straw bedding system with Xaletto. And in case of any questions, have a look on the Big Dutchman YouTube channel or on our homepage, www.com.bigdutchman.de. And uh, therefore, have a look over there. We have additional information. And uh, I would be pleased if we could start a little bit your interest. Have a good digital show. Stay healthy. Take care and goodbye. Thank you very much, everybody, for listening today. Um, as usual, we've put some of the resources into the chat for the meeting, but you can go to the HTB website uh, and the catchment sensitive farming. And again, all of those resources will be there. Uh, and if you have follow up questions, then feel free to sort of ping those through to us as well, and we'll do our best to answer them. Thank you very much, and thank you for listening.